let us solve a very interesting question and this is the question number 6 of exercise 1.2 of chapter 1 and this question says explain why 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13 and 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 5 are composite numbers so let us see how to explain it first of all let me give you some information about the composite number which is very important here in this question and the definition of composite number is like this a number which has at least three or more factors is called a composite number let me make you clear this definition by an example let us take four and we know that the factors of 4 are 1, 2, 4. And we know that 4 can be divided by 1, 2 and 4 itself. Therefore, the factors of 4 are 1, 2 and 4. And if we count them, these are 3 in counting. Number 1, 2, 3. Therefore, 4 is a composite number. Let us take another example that is 7 and the factors of 7 are 1 and 7 because 7 can be divided by 1 and itself only so if we count them these are 2 in counting therefore 7 is a prime number let me come to the question now and we have to show that 7 into 11 into 13 this is the first part plus 13 is a composite number and we know that this is the one term and this is another and we can multiply this term by 1 and if we take 13 common from these two terms we remains here with 7 into 11 and here with 1 only and what we observe we observe that this number has more than two factors because it can be divided by 13 or 2 we calculate this this is 13 into 78 and this number can be divided by 2 13 and 78 therefore the number of factors are more than 3 so 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13 is a composite number let me solve the second part of this question that is we have to show that 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 5 is a composite number and if we take 5 common from these two terms term 1 and term 2 here we remain 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 4 3 and 2 and 1 and here we remain just 1 and we observe that this number has more than 3 factors therefore this is also a composite number this is the solution of the question thank you